It's a joy to have with us Father Trifon Guman of the All Merciful Savior Monastery in Bashan Island, close to Seattle, Washington. Father, Christ is in our midst. He is and ever shall be. Christ is in our midst. He is and ever shall be. He is and always shall be. And ain't we glad. <laughs> I, I wanted to say that uh, as an opportunity that you're here with us uh, to say a little bit about yourself to those uh, who are going to view this uh, information and then also, more importantly, spend a little bit of time, if you would, about the monastery. I'd be happy to. Well, first of all, I'm a recovering psychologist. Well, thank God. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm a convert from Lutheranism. Uh, I became an Orthodox monk some 34 years ago, I think, something like that. Um, so I am indeed as old as I look. <laughs> and- uh, You're only as old as you feel. I'm really old then. <laughs> so um, the monastery was founded in 1986. And uh, we moved to Vashon Island from the Bay Area of California in 88. Uh, there were two of us at the time, the founders, the, we were co-founders, Father Paul and I. Um, he is a hieromonk as well. Um, we now are number six and we are, um, we built our monastery, it's complete now. The monastery uh, is dedicated to the, uh, to Christ the Savior. And our church is dedicated to the Holy Protection of the Virgin. And then we have a small chapel that is dedicated to St. John the Wonder Worker. Uh, the monastery's architecture is Norwegian. And we did this because uh, I'm a Norwegian American and um, the population of Seattle uh, is probably primarily of, uh, of uh, descent of Norwegians, Danes, Swedes, um, there was a huge immigration uh, about the time that my grandfather was a young man. And so it's a very white city. A lot of Vikings. A lot of Vikings. So in my office, I have a Viking helmet <laughs> and I have my collection of long boats and I have a Viking, I have a Norwegian flag. Interesting. And, uh, and I do this intentionally because I, I want visitors uh, to realize that you don't have to be a Greek or a Russian to be Orthodox or a Romanian, a Bulgarian. Sure. Uh, Orthodoxy, you know, our real true nation as Orthodox Christians uh, is Orthodoxy. And uh, so the Lord said, uh, there's, you, you, you know, there's neither not Greek nor male nor female, Greek nor Jew. And we're all one nation. So the members of your community, how many are they? And are they from different nations, so uh, to speak? Well, Father Paul is a Swiss German uh, ancestry. Uh, and one of our monks is, is a Greek ancestry. Uh, another one is from uh, uh, Mississippi. <laughs> so they're an ancestry unto them of their own. Yes. Uh, and one of our monks is a linguist and he lived for years in Japan. So he's also an expert at uh, sushi, which There's I diversity love. There. We have diversity. I hope the sushi monk is the one that's cooking. Yes, he is. He's the one that I'm charged to do the cooking. Wonderful. He also lived in Thailand and he can make Thai food like you wouldn't believe. Sounds wonderful. Yeah. Father, uh, the, um, the monastic life uh, in the monastery, what is that like? The daily routine. Um, it begins at four in the morning with the cell rule, the private cell rule of each monk, which is the scripture readings and the private prayer time. Um, and then at 5.15, we gather for the midnight office and uh, matins. That goes till about 8.15. Um, and then we have our work day and each monk has his obediences, things, you know, so we have a coffee company, Monastery Blend Coffee. Uh, eat your heart out, Starbucks. 
We've won blind taste tests against the Starbucks. Oh, that's phenomenal. That sounds like to me like there's a story just Yes, there that. is. There's a wonderful story. God willing, we can Someday, it. Yes. yes, I'll share it with you. So is there, a, a, is there a part of the course of the day, is there an afternoon prayer or vespers? Oh, uh, we gather again at, uh, for, uh, at uh, 5.15 for vespers. Uh, and then at 8, we have complet service. And then on feast days, uh, we have the Divine Liturgy. Uh, and... Uh, so we have a full cycle, um, and during in between we we also have a large uh, organic vegetable garden with heirloom plants only, so we can use our own seeds. Wonderful. Um, and uh, no we, GMOs. No, no, <laughs> absolutely not. So everything we eat in the monastery uh, is is really healthy, and uh, we try to. Uh, live in a way that demonstrates the importance of, of caring for the environment. So um, we try to leave as, as little imprint as we can in, in everything that we do. Well, in terms of footprints, do you get many people making their path to your door? We have lots of visitors. We have a, uh, we're happy to receive them. Uh, we ask that people call first because since we live on an island, uh, it's better to make sure that we're able to receive a visitor before. And there's so, accommodations for them to stay? Uh, we have very limited accommodations for men only, uh, but our next uh, goal is to build a retreat house and a bell tower. Those are the two next big things we want to do. So if somebody should want to spend the night, there's accommodations uh, in the area? We There are bed and breakfast on the island, and there's one motel. Wonderful. You're... Website address for those who are interested to learn more about the monastery. You're, you have a blog, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we have a, I do a daily blog and I do a daily podcast for Ancient Faith Radio mm -hmm. and a once a week YouTube video. Um, and my blog and all of the other can be linked through the website. So okay. our website is vashonmonks.com, V A S H O N M O N K S. Well, Father, with no further ado, I, I know that this is a lead-in to uh, your talk in St. Demetrius Orthodox Church in Jackson, Michigan, where you talked about the restoring of the image of God in, uh, uh, in uh, ourselves, in our families, and uh, it's a joy to have you with us, and you're in our prayers. Thank Pray you. for us. Thank you. Thank you. It's a joy to be here.